surface being peppered by big, heavy raindrops. The underwater environment quite dark today and the gloomy mood continued until I managed to find a back-saddle goatfish which was lurking in the sandy bowl. These goatfish normally don't let us very close and this one was quite different. It gave me the opportunity to study the way it feeds using the pair of tendrils or barbs on its lower jaw to feel very delicately along the surface of the sand. It then managed to dig up a little mollusk or crab which it found beneath the surface of the sand. A coral rock cod, as territorial as they are, chased the goatfish away quite briefly. But the goatfish commenced feeding once again. It's amazing how these tendrils feel under the coral itself. Every now and again it would get a false alarm, a mouthful of shells which it would eject. And it was really hunting every little area. It managed to strike gold deep in the sand and began snuffling around. And you'll see it pausing, chewing, and then eventually spitting out the shells which it peels off the live organism that it then digests. When the incoming tide comes in, it pushes up all this nutrient-rich water. And once that starts, the smaller reef fish start feeding off the plankton that is brought in from the deep oceans. As the day went on and the tide started pushing stronger and stronger into the channel more and more fish started arriving and congregating just in these specific areas where where you get this big influx of nutrient rich water and after a while there's literally hundreds perhaps even thousands of fish feeding off the plankton that has been brought in from the deep ocean Lots of the fusiliers, lots of chub, lots of black and white snappers. It was really an amazing sight to see. And with all these little fish becoming more and more concentrated, obviously a lot of the game fish and quite a few of the sharks start arriving. And ultimately the big manta rays start appearing. You can see the actual plankton pushing past the camera lens and as the current really started picking up you can see a lot of the fish start really struggling in the current but they're just loving the the food that is brought in We descend firstly down a wall with the top sitting at about eight meters and then the wall drops down into the depths below. Yeah, the stunning black coral filled with a whole bunch of beautiful orange goldies and right next to it another huge Gorgonian sea fan. This reef actually breaks the surface at some points. Yeah, with the tide at low, it's just licking the top of the reef. Underneath you get these massive caves and in here is where I found a beautiful pair of oysters. 
These oysters are bar valves and they have this beautiful mantle inside. The colors here are quite extraordinary and they too will sift out different nutrients that they gather from the water. We continued along and began to swim up above the drop off itself. The seagrass contains little pockets filled with air and actually holds the seagrass up. We had heard rumors that there were sharks in the area and we managed to catch a glimpse of one as it scooted past us. As we came to the back of this area, there's absolutely stunning topography here. And here a big plate coral. Looks like a big dining table in the center of a massive hall. And another little glimpse revealed that the shark was still in the area. Although quite skittish, it tended to stick quite closely to the walls and the overhangs, moving around and never approached very close at all, unfortunately. Lots of the small little cardinal fish hovering above the reef. Quite a few of the blue banded snappers just in and amongst these cardinals. Lots of the black cheek mores hiding in amongst the cracks. Unlike the black cheek mores, who seem to be pretty to themselves and solitary animals, you often find geometric mores in small groups of between two and three. They don't get very big, they get up to about 40 centimeters long. Their faces are what's very interesting, little dots, little patterns all over their face. These guys spend a lot of their time feeding during the evening. What they'll feed on is little crustaceans and small little fish if they can catch them. 